apologize if I do butcher your last name. Uh, David Edmundsdorfer is completing his second time through his journey to DTM, Distinguished Toastmaster. Over the past 12 years, David has worked with AT&T and as a realtor. Visiting hours for adult services are over in 10 minutes. Thank you for your cooperation. David has volunteered to take his knowledge and experience to help others. This presentation is a module of the Money Management Interactive Training Session that he is preparing to present this coming Saturday. The first step to managing your money is to set your goals. David just recently attended the District 57 Spring Conference and has picked up a few tips from the conference. One that specifically spoke to David was the utilizing of graphics effectively in your presentation. Please provide feedback to David and let him know if the graphics were helpful in his presentation, were the examples of goal setting helpful, the personal stories and or the audience participation helpful. David will be presenting this Saturday at the Rainbow Community Center in Concord from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. You are all welcome to attend. Please help me welcome David as he is working out of the Competent Communications Manual Project 8, Get Comfortable with Visual Aids. Please welcome David Englistorfer, DTM Goal Setting, Goal Setting, David Englistorfer, DTM. pronunciation of my name, so <laughs> some people don't even try it. <laughs> Who here sets goals? Wow. All right. So, excellent. We are all in this mode of setting to achieving our goals. So, why do we set goals? To achieve them. <laughs> Sorry, what? To achieve them. To achieve them, right. Move forward. Or as... My picture here says to propel ourselves forward, right? Goals transform insurmountable mountains into walkable hills. I really like that quote. The other thing that we can do when we set goals is to help us believe in ourselves. And how true is that? Right? Once you complete a goal, don't you feel like you've achieved something? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. When we come to setting goals, you, uh, they hold us accountable so that you make sure that you achieve that goal and stay on track. Goals tell you what you truly want. Is that true? Do you set a goal for something that you don't want? No. Mm -mm. I mean, it's truly what we want. And goals help us live life to the fullest. Would you all agree with that? Yes. Anybody disagree? Yeah, never thought about it. So, what I, the way I like to say it is if you don't know where you're going, how do you know when you get there? Right? So, we've heard, I'm sure you've heard this quote before, but to me it always sticks in the back of my mind, is that eventually we've got to have a target to get to, as there in my picture. But when you set a goal, you must be specific. And give me an example of what I mean by specific. Can somebody give me an example of a goal that's specific, Mary? It would have to be measurable, perhaps, so you know if you need it. Okay. Like, so, I want to lose 10 pounds, not I want to lose weight. Okay, but how more specific could you be that I want to lose 10 pounds? In one week. <laughs> right. Or even to the point of by June 13th of 2015, I want to be 10 pounds lighter. Would that not be a specific goal? Mm -hmm. right. All right, so be specific. And the more specific you are, the easier it is to attain your goal. Set daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, and even beyond goals. So who here has a 20-year goal? 10-year <laughs> goal. Keep your hand up. 15-year goal. <laughs> or five-year goal, sorry, going backwards. Okay, five-year goal. And then how about two-year goal? <coughs> All right. Believe it or not, I set a 25-year goal 
And I am very close to doing that. Does anybody have any idea what that 25-year goal was? Retire. Retire. <laughs> this month is like 24 years and 18, or 8 months, but I've pushed it out a few years, 4 more years. So, I did for my retirement, yes. So you made it 29 years? 20, uh, yes. I pushed my goal out another 4 years. So, and I may push it out a year or two, but what does that tell you when you push it out? Is it unrealistic to start with, maybe? No, it wasn't unrealistic, but goals can be adjustable. flexible, adjustable, right. So, now, have I met the goals at that 25-year plan? I've exceeded that goal. But, I'm not ready to retire. There's other consequences out there if I do take that step. So now is time to go back and review your goal and adjust it accordingly, and which I've done. Again, setting achievable goals, but make sure that they make you stretch. Make sure that you are actually moving and advancing yourself. Give me an example of like a stretch goal. Does anybody have an idea? Something like me and Natasha, they earned their Competent Communicator Awards within a year. Absolutely. Versus me, where it was over a year and a half. Right. It took me almost a year and a half, two years, I think, to complete mine. First time around. Actually, I think it took me about three years to get my first CC. Bob, did you have another example? Well, I was going to say the same thing. Okay. Yeah. So, excellent. Yeah. That's exactly right. A stretch goal that keeps you on target. And then make sure that you write it down. So, what good does it do if you don't write it down, right? Are you going to remember it if you don't write it down? Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people, what they do is they have vision boards and they have them written down on their boards. So, I do that. I write mine down on a daily basis to make sure I achieve those. Can this guy have achieved this accomplishment without setting goals? No. 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 And what, what would he have done to do? to make that happen, to be able to win this race. A lot of training. A lot of training. So what would that what steps would he have to have taken to get to that? Probably have to run on a daily basis, yeah. probably, right? How far? Who knows? That's his goal, how he would set it. But if depending on what he's trying to do there, if he's winning a um, I just drew a blank. Marathon. Marathon. <coughs> there you go. If he's going for a marathon, a 5K marathon, uh, he probably had to run at least 5K every day, right? Mm -hmm. Something to that. So you have to set goals there. Mm -hmm. So when you start setting a goal, you need to sit down and think about what do you want to change? Your personal goals, your financial goals, career, hobbies. Those are things that you want to change or want to achieve. You need to set those individually. And then you need to talk about what steps you need to do to accomplish your goal and what is your ultimate goal. I like this one, this one can't talk to me on the picture because you're basically leapfrogging. Every time you set a goal, you're going to jump on to another goal, right? Are you going to stop setting goals ever? No, not ever. You always want to continue to grow. So with the bachelor's degree, you need to complete several college courses to complete your bachelor's degree, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Probably, maybe an associate's degree. So, and then your next step would be your master's degree. I can remember when I was working on my master's degree and I got to the point where I was thinking, oh my gosh, I got all these classes to take. And then the next thing I knew, oh my gosh, I'm done. <laughs> so these are some of the things that are important to setting goals. The thing I like it is, break it down, you must. I guess they'll never hire me for Yoda's voice. But <laughs> you need to make sure and take steps to break down your goals and setting them, each individual step. And I think this, this slide I like the best sums it up. Write it down, divide it into steps to set your goals, and conquer them one step at a time. Thank you.